let's build on our concept of environmental portraits. In this tutorial, we're gonna go wide. You're gonna use a single off-camera flash to go from this to this final image. My name is Pai, and I'm one of the founders of Lynn and Jersa Photography and slrlounge.com. We're teaming up with Adorama to bring you a new series of photography tutorials called Master Your Craft right here on Adorama TV. So let's dive in. Hello, my friends. My name is Pai. Welcome to Adorama TV. Let's get right into this. In this tutorial, I want to do one of my favorite concepts. I love environmental portraits. We're building on a previous tutorial. So if you want to go over the basics, we'd recommend checking that one out. Here, we're going to take the same concepts, but we're going to add to it with off-camera lighting. We're going to create something really cool and dramatic. So let's get right to what you need. Pick any camera you like, doesn't really matter. But for lens, I would say a wide angle lens is gonna be ideal. Between 17 to 24, I like to go towards the wider side, like 17-ish. Granted, today all I got is a 28 to 70, so I'm gonna make it work. Next, you'll want an off-camera flash. I'm gonna be using the Profoto A1. This is just a standard flash in terms of output, right? 75 watt seconds. Again, not ideal. For a scene like this with the brightness that we have, I'd recommend something like a Profoto B10, uh, the Westcott FJ400, or a Godox 8200, something that just has a bit more oomph because it'll be easier to work with in terms of light output. But once again, maybe you're in a pinch like I am, so I'm gonna use what I got. Hopefully this stuff will help you out when you're in a pinch. Okay, let's talk first about concept. Let's go through camp and kind of think of what we're considering. I've got the sun on that side. I am working within our lovely roped off area that we have inside of Orange County because they do not permit us to shoot outside the ropes. I have cactus. Whenever you see a cactus, you pause, you stop, and you're like, yeah, that's gonna be some nice compositional goodness. Actually, what you really need composition-wise is just anything in your foreground. It could just be grass. It could be some, you know, weeds like dandelions works great. But here we have this foreground element. And what I wanna start thinking of is just kind of composition. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is kind of start looking at what I want to be setting up. Remember, we always wanna work through camp, right? Composition first before I actually ask my subjects to step in. And what I would like, I have the 28 to 70 paired with the Canon R5. I'm gonna kind of get down low. And uh, the first thing that I would like is a charged battery. Fail after fail. What I'm gonna do is get down low. I'm gonna bring the camera kind of close to the, uh, the objects that I'm gonna shoot through. And I'm looking to find a spot in the frame that I could place the subjects, kind of a, a clean spot of frame where I could place them and they'd kind of pop out. And I think I'd get there right in this little corner. So let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and just get to a baseline exposure for right now. And what I'm thinking is right about here. So you'll notice that in that left side, we have a nice spot of field to place them. So that's what I'm gonna go for. Next, I'm gonna start thinking ambient exposure. For a shot like this, I have so much foreground, so much environment that I need to use light to pull attention to my subject because there's a lot of busyness, right? What I'm gonna do is actually bring my aperture up. Sorry, I'm gonna close it down. So let's go to F7, low ISO. And I'm gonna see if I can't get my shutter speed below 1 200, so that way I don't have to use high-speed sync. Remember, I'm using the Profoto A1, I'm using a standard flash, which means that I don't wanna be using high-speed sync because I'm gonna lose flash power. So to maximize my flash output, to get as much light from it as possible, I'm gonna keep closing down the aperture so that we stay out of high-speed sync. So I'm getting there right around probably like F11-ish. And let's just look through here. Yeah, F11. And we get to roughly this exposure where I can keep shutter speed to 1 200th. We're good, we're out of high speed sync and we're fine. But notice that at F11, at F14, you know, I don't have depth to kind of bring attention to my subject. So what I really need to be doing is not only framing with the objects like you see me doing, but also adding light to our subjects, making sure that they're the brightest spot in the frame. So let's go to the next piece of this. We've done our composition, we've dialed in ambient light, and we're ready to basically modify, but before we can do that, I need to place my subjects and get them into the scene. So from this view, I'm actually gonna have Taylor and Harrison, my lovely models. Taylor and Harrison, go ahead and step into the frame. I'll tell you guys when to stop. And uh, as they're making the walk, we'll put up their info so you guys can give them a follow if you like. 
our lovely couple. Yeah, right there. And then what I'm gonna have you guys do is keep going to this side more. Yup. Yup, right there. And now go straight back. Like maybe five more feet. There. So, right there. Perfect, guys. I wanted to be a little bit smaller in the frame. Um, they're at the perfect spot now, but I don't want it to be so tiny we can't tell who it is, okay? Now, what you guys are gonna do is um, I want you to maybe pull each other in tight, like an embrace. Yeah. Okay, now my composition, look at this. This is where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna go right up to this front side cacti, and they're gonna look toward each other, and I'm gonna go for that. And that already looks pretty darn cool. The only thing though is I need more light on them. I want them to be brighter. So now we're gonna get to the modify piece. I'm actually gonna add light. So you guys are gonna keep your feet exactly where they're at. I'm gonna stand my old arse up and uh, with these nice knees, which again, I have messed up my left knee in jujitsu. I'm gonna very gently grab the flash and set it up. This is the Magmod cold shoe. It's a nice little cold shoe that is just very easy to use. And I have here my trusty nano stand. When you set up your light stands, uh, you don't have to like put it between your crotch. I'm doing that for aesthetic purposes only. Uh, I feel like it creates a more pleasing video for all of you guys at home to watch. Let me know if I'm wrong. Okay, I'm gonna go bare bulb. Why? I need flash output. I don't have enough power here. So I need to, if I modify with a grid, if I add a gel, if I do anything, I lose flash power. So I'm gonna leave it bare bulb. We're gonna put it at 10 power, so full power. Again, I need as much juice as I can get. Now placement. I'm gonna walk over behind them. And you know, in case any of you like missed the intro of this part, this video, um, we're allowed to step here. I know some of you are like, man, you're stepping and killing the grass. We're literally in the roped area where I'm supposed to be, where they're supposed to be. <sighs> People, it's fine. Okay, notice this. They're actually, the camera's on that side where you guys are, right? I'm not on your side of them. I'm on the far side of them. I'm actually on this side. What I'm gonna do is actually light into Taylor's face. There's a couple reasons for this. One, I like to light into her side because I feel like it creates a little more of a pleasing look to the image. It, I like to leave my guy kind of darker and dramatic. I think it looks cool. Um, and also because they're both wearing white. So I also know that the light's gonna hit her chest and the shirt and everything and bounce. And we're gonna get a lot of fill coming in anyway. So I'm gonna leave it about right here. Now I just need to go back to the camera and make sure I can frame this out with my composition, which I think I, I should be able to. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get my focus. They are posed, everything's good. We're ready for the P, the photograph. Let's go ahead and pop a shot. Okay, connect those hips up guys, pull in tight right there, right there guys. Love it, smile. Now I know from your guys' perspective, when we look this far, it doesn't look like that flash is doing a ton, right? But it actually is because the little bit of fill that that's putting in the faces is gonna allow me to actually add more light once I get to post. And this is kind of one of the tricks of like, when you don't have enough power, a little bit is gonna go a long way because we can then work the rest with a little bit of post. Go ahead and give me a smile, guys. Right there. I love it. Touch foreheads, close the eyes. Beautiful. Okay, I want you guys to look at the, uh, the image without light. So just stay right there, guys. Look at each other and smile. Hold it right there. This is no light. And with light. Now, if we did have more power, we could do other things like backlighting and all that, but we're not gonna get too fancy with it today. Go ahead and touch foreheads, guys. Close the eyes, soft smiles. Right there. Beautiful. Oh, I dig that. I'm getting this low angle too, so I can kind of frame them above the horizon line. I don't want anything behind them to sort of compete for attention in the frame. Right there. Stay right there, guys. I'm just gonna zoom in. Pull back, smile at each other.
we got it. I could finish the tutorial like this, but I really want to stand up. Actually, I don't think I can stand up. Check out the before versus the after. I love the overall look that this has, and just that little kick of light adds so much to the image and allows it to do so much more in post because they have a highlight on them that we can lean into from there. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go and ice my knees. Meantime, you guys can leave comments. I love to hear what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed the video, give me a like that tells Adorama I'm doing a great job. And uh, yeah, we got tons of awesome creators here on the channel. So subscribe to the Adorama TV channel, turn on notifications. Y'all know how YouTube works. In the meantime, you can follow Taylor and Harrison. We'll throw their links up one more time. And uh, you can find me at Pi Gersa. Peace.